Aloha everyone. I'm Malika Dudley from Maui Now and we're here with Wyatt Russell. Hello. You are receiving the Rising Star Award this evening at the Maui Film Festival here at the Grand Wailea. We're chatting with him. So um, I want to know how it feels to get an accolade like this. Um, undeserved and, <laughs> and, and, and never quite know um, how to accept but say thank you very very much to all the people that uh, thought me deserving for it. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's an awesome place to come and, and be able to spend a week and and, uh, and Have you been here before? I, I've never been to Maui. I've okay. been to Kona. I've been yeah. to Kona when I was younger with my friend Greg's family a bunch. Uh, but I've never been to Maui and, and it's like such a it's incredible. Like, Isn't it's, it? Oh my god, it's insane. Yeah, and we have surf right now. Have you been surfing? I know you're an athlete. I, I, it's so embarrassing that every time I get asked that question because now I feel like I have to go just surf like one time just to make sure just to be like, okay, yeah, I did it. Yeah. And say like, yeah, I'm a surfer. I can lie. I can't even lie. <laughs> I can't even lie and say I've ever done it. So no, I've not surfed. <laughs> um, I will get out there. My girlfriend's says that she surfs um i've never actually seen her do it but she said she to, to get out there and try it so maybe like later yeah. but no, no, never there's a first it. time for everything you yeah. know why don't we try it um i feel like in all the movies i've seen you in you've played an athlete like baseball player a football I player i know i've played like weird different versions of athletes too um i guess it's because i understand a part of the personality and i can mm -hmm. attribute some of that um knowledge to the character um but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I've I've played other people, as, but they've always had like an athletic past. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe those are things that were added after I got <laughs> cast. <laughs> I can't remember. Well, um, speaking of you know, athleticism, and you played hockey. Yeah. So I want to know about your childhood dream and how this all transpired. How'd you get into <laughs> acting? How much? My, 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 my childhood dream just, just crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> I was about 24, and my dream just dissipated in a, in a, in a, in a heap of broken bones. Um, I broke my hip and couldn't play anymore. I played professional hockey in Germany and Holland. Mm -hmm. um, that was really fun. It wasn't going to be what I was going to do for the rest of my life. It was sort of like, you know, one, once you go over there, the dream is over, uh, but the experience isn't, <laughs> and you're trying to hold on for kind of as long as you can. Yeah. Um, but it was a blessing in disguise for me that I did get hurt because I feel like I'd still be over there trying to trudge it out and mm -hmm. wondering what I was doing with my life. Um, but when I did get hurt, it was like, okay, maybe, you know, I'll take some of the things that I've learned about life yes. through my sport um, and try and translate it to film. It was something that I felt like I could, it was almost weirdly like the next step in a, in a way. Now looking back on it, maybe I didn't think about that um, as soon as I got injured, I was just sort of crying and not understanding where my life was headed. Um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like all that time I spent playing has certainly helped me be a better actor, for sure. And now doing what I'm doing, much happier than, than being a professional minor league hockey player. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I think it's so nice and refreshing to hear actors talk about their struggles and, you know, you're like, I was crying. And, you know, it really shows kids out there or just people that are, you know, trying to make it in the world that we all go through this kind of stuff. You know, do you have any yeah. advice, like life advice for people? <laughs> life advice. Yeah. My life advice is, to, you know, first of all, admit to yourself when you don't know something. <laughs> That's a big one for me. Big one. <laughs> yeah. When I was like, when I understood for the first time, and I was like, okay. I'm not going to play professional hockey, but how can I attribute my uh, skills that I've learned to other parts of my life? That was a big one. Um, but also just work hard at whatever it is that you're doing, and it'll show itself. What it what what you will want to do will show itself. It's that it's those moments when you're like, I don't know, and then you get stagnant, and then you just get stuck in the I don't know world for a while. Everybody can do it. it doesn't matter yeah. where you're from. I've been there where it's like a, a year of being like, I don't know. Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Yeah. And then you got to snap out of it and be like, I'm going to go work hard at something. Right. I don't care what it is. Just something. Yeah. And then eventually you're like, oh, my God, I'm out of it. Okay. A little traction here, a little mm -hmm. thing here. And it never, I don't think that ever stops. Yeah. You, know, you can be 40 and millionaire and doing great. And then right. you can still get caught in that rut. And so yeah. it's like a thing you just kind of kind of keep finding the equilibrium. Yeah. Um, so, yes, you come from the legacy. <laughs> Jeff Bridges is my father, and it was, you know, it's crazy. Jeff Bridges. Can't Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn, oh, right. I mean, Kurt Kate Russell. Hudson, everybody. Right, Kurt Russell. You're, Forgot. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're, What's they're it the like best. growing up, you know, in a family like that? Are you, were you kind of already comfortable with the spotlight and no. acting? Or? No, no. Um, 
The family's awesome. Everybody's the best, most awesome people that there are on the planet Earth. Uh, but I wasn't com I'm not comfortable with like um, the spotlight necessarily in terms of like being like, no, no, I, I can do it. It's fine. It's part of the job. Um, it was like playing gold was sort of the same thing. It's part of the job, but I just like doing the work. I, I do like doing the work. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was just very normal in a lot of ways. Not normal in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, you know, I understood that, but they kept it really, they kept it really uh, normal. They kept yeah. it very down to earth, grounded. They're grounded people, so I, I think hopefully that rubs off on, on yeah. your children. Um, hard work. They, you know, they, they didn't forget how they did it. Right. So it wasn't going to be any different for their kids. I think that's yeah. the way they sort of looked at things. Um, but they're the best. They're the best. They're what you see is what you get. It's, it's pretty cool, though. You got it. It's pretty cool. Oh, to look, <laughs> I, I, I think that everybody's, I think that you should think your parents are the coolest. This that is, is everybody's is parents are, uh, should, yeah. should be the coolest. Mine <laughs> are also happen to be the coolest. Yeah. And my and, and the rest of my family, <laughs> and uh, and we're getting now getting to work with with all of them in some capacity has been yeah. really fun. So. Awesome. What's up next for you? Um, next, uh, a movie Goon Two, which I actually play a hockey player. Oh. Um, <laughs> comes out. It plays. I play like. Uh, uh, I don't even know if it's supposed to be under wraps what my character is, but I, I'm in Goon 2. Yeah. Um, and that comes out in September. It was in a movie called Shimmer Lake that I shot in Toronto. That comes out a little later this year. Um, and producing a couple things right now with my brother and my sister. And, and uh, there's a couple projects that we're working on there and sort of just seeing what happens. Yeah, I have. Lazy River. <laughs> That, that's good advice. Just roll down the Lades River. Yeah. I have an Instagram question for you from our followers. Oh, God. From so, my followers? From Your our followers. followers. Okay, yeah. I, was like, I don't have any followers. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you following? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, at Miss Maya asks, mm -hmm. so your dad played pro baseball. So when you played a baseball player and everybody wants some, mm -hmm. did he give you pointers on like, you know, this is how you stand and this is how you hit a ball? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah kind of. I, I would send him photos of stuff and be like, hey, how does this look? I mean, he was, he's a very, he's, he was a more than an accomplished player. He, he understood the game. His father was a kind of a baseball guru. My cousin, Matt, played for the Mets and the Braves and the Cubs for a long time. So there was a couple times where, like, he'd be like, good, now push off the mound. That last, like, you know, that last little stride matters because right now it looks like you're throwing a wet noodle. And I was like, okay, so, but everything else looks great. So I was like, all right. And there were little tweaks and stuff that he could look at and go, eh, that doesn't, yeah. that doesn't look perfect, but it's okay. It's good for college. Yeah. And I was like, all right. I bet that gave you a lot of confidence. Yeah, sort of. Well, because my dad's the most objective person you'll mm -hmm. ever meet. So he could say to me, nah, it looks shitty. It doesn't look right. <laughs> fix it and I'll be like okay but he didn't say that he was like it looks good he's like it looks good yeah. it looks natural it looks real yeah fix a couple things work on a couple things but you got it and so yeah. I was like okay good I got it awesome well yeah. I mean we could talk to this guy all night Forever. but um tonight at 10 p.m your yeah. movie is just tell us a couple sentences about your movie and tell people why they should come out and see it it's a movie about a traveling comedian and a and a singer songwriter folk hero type guy called folk hero and funny guy um, and it's about two people's, two friends' journey on the road, finding and rebuilding a friendship, finding what it is to be uh, 35 years old and have the problems that 35-year-olds have and dealing with life the way it is. And it's a really fun movie. It's an uplifting kind of um, comedy, dramedy. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Um, you get to, yeah, it's a, it's a pick your own, it's a pick your own genre type movie. Um, and yeah, come out and watch it. It's super fun. I like awesome. it. Yeah, and tonight he's actually receiving the Rising Star Award as well. So you'll be able to see their little interview on stage and yeah. watch the movies. So make sure you come out to the Celestial Cinema. We've got more information at MauiNow.com on everything you need to know about movie show times and all the celebrities that are going to be here. And we'll be covering it all for you at Maui Now. I'm Malika Dudley. Ahui ho. That's, you know who he is. Ahui Wyatt ho. Russell. <laughs>